So I'm back in the Forest of Treasure and on my way to where I'm going to be treasure hunting, I'm on the lookout for Sep and Baltiuses, which is the whole family. But anyway, I've come across some, so have a look at what I look for. Now, this is not one that I saw from the road, but it is a little baby. A little baby Sep. But that's what I saw there. So these chaps are all edible. Now, you always got to check. So I'm going to turn this over. It's going to be a sponge. You see, that sponge shows you that's an edible Belitus. And there's another four, but I'm going to only take the, the biggest three. There's a little baby, but it'd be delicious. And these won't be around for long because the wild boars will have them. So I'm leaving that little one for the fairy. Well, I fought all the way through this. And that little one too. I've never had enough nerve to eat one of these. This is Amanita, but it's a blusher. You see, that's pink there. Now, that means it's not a panther cap, and therefore it's quite edible. Well, it is edible if you boil it and pour away the water. It is slightly toxic. But Amanitas, well, no, I haven't got enough nerve to actually pick that and eat that. So I'm gonna leave it here. And there's another one there. I think there's quite a few around here, actually. Well, look at that beauty. Oh, let's have that one. Fantastic. Fabulous, fabulous mushroom. Fabulous. Oh, what a wonderful mushroom, what a wonderful mushroom. Well, I'm not driving through that because I might not make it in the shiny shovel. So this is where we start detecting from. News has happened. Wild pig knocked this one over, even. Didn't even eat it, silly pig. Good luck for me though. I'm sweating a bucket here, digging in this hard road and finding nothing. But anyway, found one of these, that's nice. Got nothing to carry it in though, that's the trouble. I suppose I have to put it in with my camera, won't I? Back to the forest grindstone, a musket ball. Fired. Two and a half hours and absolutely zippo. Well, apart from bullets. The pig slayers have been busy and dropping their brass everywhere. But apart from that, nothing. And every time I get a good signal, it's very, very deep and it's under basically hard pack road. And it's probably iron, so, you know, no joy there either. But went back to the spot where I found those two revolutionary coins, gave it another check, nothing, and now I'm going to go across country, because you never know what might have been there a thousand years ago. And this soil is very, very, very thin. So, you know, four inches and you're on sand, which is the subsoil. So if they dropped it, it might still be only four inches away. Anyway, we will see. <sighs> I look at it as physical rehabilitation at its best. And lots of mushrooms. Well, not that lots, but enough. More mushroom treasures. Of course, I've only got a little bag, but that one's going in it. So the thing about treasure is when you find it and you've found it and you dug it up, it's gone forever. You come back there all you like, there's nothing there. With mushrooms, you can keep coming back year after year after year. Oh yeah. Well, after three hours, I think I've got a coin. So see the first coin of the day, or bottom of a shotgun cartridge, but I'm pretty sure it's a coin. Let's have a look, see what we can see in this under tree lighting. And if I look tired, it's because I am. So there it is, and that will be a deer near, because that's a single unit size. Don't get much more than that. And it's heavy, so it's a coin. So anyway, first final coin of the day. Over there is a sand working. So this would belong to a worker who dropped some of his money. No coins, but this nibbled chanterelle. Yes, we like those. Oh, I've no idea what that is. If you know, post below. Yeah, no idea. Well, I'm almost out of gas, and this is all I've been finding. Rifle cartridge cases from people out to slay some swine. Poor swine. But anyway, yes, that's it. One coin, lots of lovely mushrooms. Well, not lots, but, but enough for dinner. Oh, yeah. Well, 
<laughs> it wasn't a very successful hunt when it comes to artifacts. But when it comes to mushrooms, it was very good indeed. And I got another one just before the end, right by the car. There's a mushroom behind the car. So this is another set. And you see, there you are. That's what you look for underneath. That sponge. If it's got gills, or it could be something else entirely, well, you don't know what it is, so you don't pick it. Or you don't eat it anyway. So there you go. A nice Belitus. Looks like a sep. Could be a sep. One of the family. It'll be really tasty. I know it. So anyway, this is probably going to be a short part of a long video on my metal detecting channel and a long video on my mushroom hunting channel. <laughs> oh, that was another three and a half hour marathon. Well, marathon for me anyway. So now I'm going to take the shiny shovel home. Well, it's harvest time and we're out for a treasure hunt in a forest that I've only ever been to because apparently there's a kind of really ancient castle here and there's a Mott and Bailey. Well, I detected it for a bit, didn't find anything at all, no sign of anything. But I've come back to this forest because I didn't really see much here. And so it's pretty much undetected and I might find some mushrooms. Oh yes. But anyway, it's harvest time and what a lovely day. Now anyway, I was out yesterday and I thought, well, the last time I went out before that was the weekend before that. It took me all week to recover my bones. And I thought, well, actually what I need to do is I need to stretch them a bit more. So I'm out for a couple of hours now to give them another pounding a day after I pounded them on the hope that it will do them some good. So let's see how long I can go for. Oh, yes. Well, probably a couple of hours max, but it's really hot as well. But good time to stretch the old bones and carry on the comeback of Chill Bill. Let's see if we can find some treasure as well. Awesome mushrooms. Well, I couldn't find my way in, so I limboed under some barbed wire. Oh, yes. I'm not as small or light as I used to be, but anyway, we made it. So anyway, let's see what we can find. Well, I fought all the way through this to get to this. Which is a lump with a ditch around it, which allegedly might be some sort of castle, ancient, ancient castle, or encampment or something like that. But I, I've been here before and I went around the ditch because it was winter and there was nothing, nothing in it at all, not a sausage. But anyway, down here was a 35 signal, which means foil. And it was on the surface, so it meant foil. So I thought, I'm a good citizen. I'm going to pick up that foil and I won't have to find it again as well. But anyway, it wasn't foil at all. It was this, and this is a coin right on the surface as well absolutely right on the surface now it could be the bottom of a shotgun cartridge or something but i think that's a little hammered copper coin but we'll find out what it is later but that's rather exciting and it was on the surface to boot i know you like these pin fire shotgun cartridges 18 the 20 or something to 18 20 you know short-lived shotgun cartridge type from the early 1800s. But I prefer coins, I do, oh yes. But anyway, right there is this Mott and Bailey feature. So whatever it is, I don't know. We're gonna have a look and see if we can root around and find anything at all. Trouble is by the time I get to the interesting bits, I'm normally pooped. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's not tears of joy, no. Anyway, we're having fun, that's the main thing. Well, these dark ages guys did not have a lot of shotguns. Funny, nothing but shotgun cartridges. Well, this is the top of that structure. And you can see that it's round. There's a big ditch around it. But there's nothing in the ditch. I'm going to detect on top, but I did that last time, nothing on top. And nothing around. So you can't say it's too deep on the edges of the moat, if that's what it is. Because that's exposed earth, but nothing there either. And no signs of anything really. First sip of the day and there's one over there if I can find it. There it is. So they're going in the bag. They're little ones but we haven't got any left. We ate them all. Top of that castle, if that's what it was, was a wild boar nest which is why it's all flat down there because the wild boar's been camping up there. Could be a person but there's no fire but there's a big sort of wild boar nest up there. Ah, good job I didn't meet Miss Wild Boar, because I'm sure she wouldn't be that happy. And it's a bit difficult to get away when you're on top of a castle when there's only one way out and no one way in. But anyway, we're off now, and Mrs Piggy can come back and have a snooze if she wants. Or Mr Piggy. They're big ones, they are. Anyway, off we go. 
first and probably the last find of the day. I think this is a mount, you know, like a for your horse tack. Nice shiny thing. So that's not bad. I suppose. Don't think there's going to be anything on it. To be just a shiny dip. Well, maybe there's a little bit of a. Uh, it's probably just been dinged. But anyway, in the pocket it goes. And I think that's what that is. It's a horse brass thing. Big signal, as you can guess. He says, yes, says the farmer. Come to my forest whenever you like. And then, when I get to the gate, it's locked. But I think I can just about get under there. I might be fancying myself, but I think if I can get my head under and I can breathe in sharply, I can squeeze under that. So we shall try. Now I'm not going to film it. I've just hacked my way through this bush because I thought there might not be barbed wire here, but there was. But the bush crushed it. Thank you, bush. Anyway, I'm through the other side. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Anyway, I'm out and I'm free. I'm free. Chibble is free. Well, there's a secret exit. And I've made an extra secret one now. Oh yes, I know for next time. And there is a shiny shuffle. <sighs> I'm safe. Oh yes, I've made it. He said falling over backwards. Anyway, whew. hard going I tell you, hard, hard going. Anyway, we made it after our adventure. Oh yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like. See you again soon. Bye now.